Hello there, everybody. This is Mike. I'm up here at the Wind River Lake on the top of Togedy Pass. My wife and I, Cheryl, are camp hosts down at Hatchet. We're on the Trans-American Trail for bikers, so we see a lot of good people coming through. Uh, Caleb and I are up here uh, catching our meal up here, trout in God's supermarket up here, we call it. So if you ever get a chance to stop by, visit us, we'll bring you up fishing or we'll share some of ours with you. So get out there on the road and enjoy it. Enjoy this great country and uh, just be blessed by it and uh, just make the decision to do it. So we hope to see you sometime soon down the road and, and come visit. We'll share our front yard with us, the campground, whatever you need, we'll have it. So God bless you all out there pedaling away. And uh, we'll see you later on. God bless you. <laughs> Got a fish. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. There you go. First fish of cotton in a while. If ever. All right, so this is the head of my, my fish. He lived a good life. Now he's drinking with his purpose. And there's his body. He's a lovely creature. He's a good looking, good looking fish. Cheryl, you're making a debut. Oh no! No makeup. That's not fair. Anything you want to say to, to everybody out there? Just enjoy these videos. They're very well thought out and hard fought for. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to unveil the cooked fish. Mountain Man Caleb's Supper. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Pretty. Taking the... He's lived a good life, and uh, let's see what he's working with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect <be> fish. <laughs> and it's fading now. You should have seen it when I first came out here against those trees over there. Yeah, and sensitive over here. Yeah. Over here, it's even a sensor. Yeah, and it's dropping out in front of that deal. I know. Let's start over. Okay. Hey, my name is John Sloan. I'm from Delta Junction, Alaska. I'm riding the Trans Am uh, route from Florence, Oregon. Over a three-year period that I'll be in Yorktown, Virginia. I've been wanting to do this for years, but job and family and everything else gets in the way. And finally, I've gotten to a point where I can do this. And uh, I started on May 26th and uh, met uh, Caleb here in, what's today, 25th? Yep. 25th of May of June. And um, so I've been averaging about 44, 45 miles a day. Um, yeah, it's... Any advice to uh, anybody who wants to pursue their own adventures? I think if you wanted to do this, you could do it. It's it's a difficult thing. I some days I don't think I've ever worked so hard in my life, and then other days, man, the winds at my back, and I got a little downhill get decline, and life is good again. And so, uh, uh, it's like it's an amazing like life, yeah. thing to do. Everybody should at least give it a little bit of a chance. Um, the people have been great so far. I haven't met anybody that has uh, kind of turned me off or anything. Everybody's been really nice, and the traffic has been real respectful of the bicycle, and um, maybe one or two, but nothing to really uh, dwell on. Uh, yeah. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thanks again. Yeah, you're welcome. God bless you.
All right, here I am with Mike, and we're back at the supermarket today. We just got done dropping off our new friend, John, and we're gonna get the biggest fish in this lake. You getting anything on that? No. Come on, fishies. No, you chased them off there, Tim. Most definitely changed, and that can change. You get them? No, I was on a rock. They should have been hitting here by now. Yeah. It's it's Caleb. <laughs> Dang. Pretend like they're <laughs> I'm gonna give him slack and see how far he pulls it. Talk to me. Look at that beauty. Nice hybrid cutthroat, Wyoming, finest, <laughs> great divide trout. Join the family. Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at the color on that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Say hello. Look at the color on that. You throw them back in? Yeah, I shook him off the hook and he went in. Why'd you do that? because I wanted to catch them again. Because it's more fun to catch sometimes than to eat. I'm waiting for that big hog to come in here and yeah. whack one of them. That one I took back that I got pictures of that we ate. Yeah. Man, he was a, he was a good one. Living the dream. Yeah, living the dream. We're living the dream out here. In God's country. What more could you ask for? Beautiful mountains, beautiful scenery, fish. Trail, mi trail mix and spring water. All we need is some jerky. And look at, we're all, we didn't know each other before. We're no. All here fishing together now. We're making memories. Making memories. Yeah. Making memories. And Caleb's recording our memories. Oh! Bring him in! Oh, he's a hog. He's a oh, biggie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Ooh, look at the color on that. Oh, man, and you lift them. You lift them. Did you want to keep them, Tim? Yeah. Here. Oh, you got it? Yeah, it's on it. Oh, look at that. Put him on the log and take a picture of that sucker. That's pretty. Come on, stay still. Look at that. You ready? Oh. Right there. I think we got a knife for Tim, don't we? I think we oh, got a knife, yeah. yeah, Caleb wants to clean his too. I got a good knife. Well, it's about time to head down and go have lunch. Uh-oh. Uh, no, here here we go. Right. I don't know if I still have them or not. Tim, I need help. Oh, he ain't got the color. He's not old enough. You know, we can get that oh, plastic bag and I can put him in that little cooler. Yeah, and he is, he's buried. No, oh, you can get him out. Push down and up. Yeah, he's good. He's, He's gone. Good. He's gone. How many fish have I caught so far? All right. Oh, Mike. What? <laughs> Did you see this? I opened up the vent and... You know, I already cleaned that out twice. <laughs> Boy, that, that must be a lot of leaves up in there. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to know where this little road goes, too. Right. I'd like to bring my four-wheeler up, go up that, and then go down this to Brooks Lake. We drove down, Caleb and I drove down this back road. Yeah. It goes in there. It's pretty. What, this road that goes right over here where you just turn This dirt up? road, yeah. Yeah. And then I looked it up on the satellite up on the, on the uh, MapQuest thing. And there's also a loop in there too. 
So uh -huh. all this water goes to the Atlantic. Oh, that's right, because we're at the Continental. Yep. And there's a pond down there. I always kind of wondered if there was some fish, oh, fish down in there. We need to go down there and check it out. Yeah. Yeah. You can't leave, you know? No, I Not mean, too that's, much stuff to that's, do. That's that kind of, oh, now I wish, I'm glad I bombed this art show this weekend. Road that goes down there. Yeah. Well, yeah. they got a logging site right there. But there's a road that goes down to that lake. Yeah. Oh, that's Forest Service. Forest Trail. I say. Yeah, we got a few puddles. Yeah, there is. Helena. I don't see any, uh. I don't see any bikers. No. No, we got a big trailer pulled in there. I'm glad we got that seat bolted back there. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a 69 Ford? This is the one for you. Yeah, this is the one for you. Feels like about three pounds, four pounds. Good fish. Huh? You know, when we were coming down some of those slides that were, there uh -huh. was some white stuff in there, I thought, man, that was hail. And Pam said it did hail here. Did it? Yeah. It hailed yeah. here. It hailed here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what are you getting fishing? What do you got there? It's a Mike. He's a boomer. He's a gripper at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a one man production company. <laughs> he is. They all got the same kind of markings. Spots. Some are a little different than others. Like these here, this one here. Get prepared here to do fish cleaning station. Warning, food and odor tracks bears. Walk the audience through uh, taking them off the stringer. <laughs> I think they can figure that out. That's a dandy. Am I going to film Caleb cleaning fish? Hey, Caleb cleaning fish. Uh -oh. It's going to be interesting to see how you clean them compared to me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, just yeah. Grab just... it and pull them right out. Yep. Um, Boy, that's a big one. What's her name? Uh, Cheryl taught me how to cut a fish open. I can feel the life leaving her. <laughs> no, that's just your hand you hit. And <laughs> <laughs> that's your life you're leaving. <laughs> and I'm going to drink his blood. Look at this. Rip him open. Look at that pink in there. Oh, look oh, at the eggs. eggs. Yeah. The eggs, but I've never seen that color inside of a fish before. Those are. Show Caleb what you got to do right there for that. Oh, you, oh, you, oh. No, you missed it. <laughs> I'm so grossed out. Here. You got to cut this first, and then you pull. That pulls everything out. Oh. And then you just grab that and you pull it right out. And it usually takes the first fins out of there too. There you go. Kill them. They're over there in the creek. There's another one coming in. They're coming in. We're gonna They're look coming at, in. We're looking at where we want to claim our residency. Yeah. For tax purposes. I was gonna have Cheryl get her driver's license here in Wyoming. And then I got a, I got a lifetime fishing license in Colorado. Oh. So I can hunt there, and then she can oh, hunt wow. here. Oh Look at all the oh. eggs in this one. Look at that. Here, you want some caviar? Wow. 
That's amazing.